Hey guys, it is Daring Davis here with a game called This War of Mine. I have started it up a bit. I don't think I'm too far into it, so we're just gonna play for a bit. And so, what I'm trying with these characters is to be a bandit. Last time I played it, I was a nice guy and beat it. So this time I'm gonna try to play as a bandit and see how far that gives me. So I'm just gonna go killing and taking people's stuff. <sighs> Let's do it. Do do day three. See, I told you it wasn't that far. Oh, that's right. He just can't got back and he's getting shot at by a couple snipers. Oh no! Ah, he got wounded. So we gotta choose to help. Who now? Okay. So I'm gonna go. So I have a strategy. There's these things around your house that you can loot, but you don't want to loot them fully because if you, if you loot them fully, you can't use them as storage, and you can keep this stuff in here. So when you, so like you saw, I got raided, but they didn't take anything. Well, that's just because I have nothing in my inventory that they could take. Oh, buddy, we don't have any bandages. And we won't make it through without bandages. Yeah, well, we'll get some bandages tonight. So Bruno, you just come and take a little nap. How many days hungry are they? Why don't you take, take some food out of there? Sorry about that, guys. My recording messed up, but hopefully we're back now. So let's see. To get this food for two people, we'll need one food, a vegetable, and six water. So we're good. No, you're hurt. You're not cooking. I'll just have you cook. Or is it two vegetables? Oh, of course, we need two fuel. Let's just take our, you know, our wood that he brought back. Yeah, I know, Marco. You're slightly wounded. Oh yeah, they'll, whatever happens to them, they'll take little notes in their head. So everybody's wounded. That's great. There you go. Make two of those. Mmm, food. Yeah, I've been needing to do a video on this for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it till now. So I like doing videos. So here, Marco, since you cooked it, you can have that food. And then Pavel will bring food to him. Pavel. Oops, someone's at the door. Marco, go into the door. I mean, this guy's got bandages for us. Ooh, he does, but we don't got... Hold on. I gotta say nine inches of an ally. Oop! You didn't, pretend like you didn't see that at the bottom of the screen. I think this is where I kept my diamond. Yeah, there we go. And then run down there. Oh no! Oh, I'm stupid. Now I'm gonna have to find a new place for that. Um, I want the bandage. Really? What if I give you some wood with that? No? I have an idea. Tonight I'm going somewhere with food. So, well hopefully I'm going to go somewhere with food. If the place is unlocked. You guys will see what I'm talking about if it's unlocked. So, if we give this guy some food. He might want to give us a bunch of crap. So we'll give him. Nothing special, but not bad. It's food, dude. That won't do. Hey, screw you. Is that good enough? Two wood and a diamond and a food for that? 
Let's see how much of this I can get out of them at least. Let's see. What else can I get out of this guy? Is that it? Is that all I can get out of you? Can I get some wood out of you? Yeah. I was going to say, if I can get like four wood. No, I'll stick with one wood. That'd be fine. That'd be funny. I, th I don't, don't. Don't be mad, but this is what I'm doing. I'm getting food tonight. Get out of here. Yeah, shut up. Dude. Keep ignoring that little part down there. He needs to get back in bed. Yeah, I know, Pavel, you're hungry. But at least it's warm still. Yeah, I, I I found a new place and I'd never been to it before. It was called like Snipers something, and I got shot like twice, and it just was not good. So we're just gonna end the day. So I gotta show you guys a little bit of the survival or the scavenging stuff. So why would no? You're sleeping in the bed. Marco's going out. To see, that's right. Yeah, Snipers Junction. Ooh, ooh. Yes, we're gonna go there. Oh crap. Well, if we get raided, our stuff's gonna get taken. And Bruno's probably gonna be dead. Oh, I think people live at this house. I'm gonna have to be extra quiet. And if I end up having to kill people, well, like I said, I'm a bandit. I'll kill without remorse. My characters won't, but I will. I think they might get used to it after a while. So once they get used to it, I, I, I should be fine. Like I said, so, well, these guys are in their house, but I'm still going to go in and steal their crap. You know? Oh, maybe there's something left in the fridge. Yeah, maybe there is. Maybe there's someone behind you wanting to kill you. Let's get my shovel out. Oh, crap. That's right. I am slightly wounded. Okay. Now we're going to wait for her to walk by, and I'm going to stab her with my shovel, depending on what way she goes. Oh, she's got the food. Hold on, is she coming back this way? Please tell me she's coming back this way. Come on, come here. I wish I could, like, make a noise. Ah, right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I'll salute her body. Die! Kill him! Yeah! Oh, I didn't know he was coming downstairs. We did it, guys. Ooh! I just saw him coming right downstairs. I did not know he was going to try to kill me. Ooh, yes, he's got a knife. That could have went bad. If he would have stabbed me with that knife, I would have gotten wounded even more. Ugh! Well, wow, wow. She, oh, it's because she did eat. She did eat this stuff. And there's just still stuff left in the fridge. She probably took it off. Oh, no. See, look. See, I gave that guy food, and we get all this in return. Um, I don't think we need that now. We don't have any herbal, st herbal stuff. Sorry. I almost said herbal. Um, that's good. Um, let's see. Let's go downstairs. They might have a gun, like, some sort of weapon cabinet downstairs or something that I can get into. I did move my crowbar. So that means I can get through any locked things. Pretty cool. Who needs lockpicks when they got a crowbar? Um, I would grab the wood, but I have a... I think I have a little bit too... I a decent pile at home in my cabinets. I'll grab these, though. I know materials are really nice. Uh, right now, I'm looking for bandages, though. 
bandages. Ooh, that's probably locked, right? Yep. Ooh, a broken guitar. Ooh, but a broken gun. Um, let's put... So I accidentally did grab the herbs. Grab the gun. And the... We'll need weapon parts for that, though, too. And we'll put back this one water and grab the... Ooh. Um, no, he's gonna need this alcohol after he kills people. We'll come back to the guitar if we need it for entertainment, because that will keep them kind of, you know, sane if they have some music to listen to. Um, that's good for now. Let's break into this and see what they got in here. I can't believe that was a one-shot kill, that stealth kill. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. That was with a shovel. That's not as powerful as a knife. Ooh. Well, nothing special. But I think we have a... I think... We have a smoker, so... I don't know. No, I'm good. He doesn't need a smoke. Smoking's bad for you. I'm not gonna pull these boards off. I'm gonna head upstairs. Ah, God darn it. Two seconds. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, no, 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 there's nothing down there. There ain't gonna be anything in those stupid piles, but let's go upstairs and see if they have any medicine or something. In some sort of bathroom. It's one of those people keep bandages, right? Well, this is what we need. Um, so let's put back, like I said, this wood. We have wood at home, and we'll take the weapon parts because we need. I think I need six weapon parts for to make a pistol, which would be nice if I can get the six weapon parts now. Because if I had a pistol, it'd be so good. Um, yeah, I know I'm not grabbing any of this stuff, but if you see, my inventory is kind of full, so I can't grab this stuff. Ooh, a chair. Let's see what it says. If some woman, it's some woman's diary. She writes a lot about a man called Emil. Apparently, he knows this house and she made friends with him a while treating his wounds. After she moved in, he began to recolonate with his wife's, reconcile, sorry, I terrible, with his wife's death. At least these, these two found some times, whatever. Oh, yep, that lock cabinet probably has some sort of medicine in it, doesn't it? Well, get up there. Oh, he doesn't know how to get there from here. Well, don't be a dummy. There's probably there's a pair of stairs right here. I probably should grab Pavel for this. He's a lot quicker. He doesn't have enough, as much inventory space. Um, oh, yeah, another roll of cigarette will be nice. Wait, is that just the... Oh, no, wait, I didn't grab the roll of cigarettes before. Never mind. Yeah, this is where that guy was sleeping. I don't know why he came running downstairs. Ooh. Hmm. Ah, this is more of a med trip than a supply trip, so. I really need bandages. Because if I don't got bandages, well, Bruno's gonna die. And these guys, these guys can sleep off their wounds. Because they got like a little scratch, you know. They got, ah, they don't have bandages. Crap, I'm gonna, oh wait, no, here's the bathroom. Please have some bandages. Come on, have some bandages for me. Thank you. I will get rid of my last wood. <laughs> Goodbye, wood. And we'll take these last two things because that will get get most medicine. I think that's all I can take. So hold on, we'll go down here and see what this old magnifying glass says. Sorry, I gotta read this out loud. I use a black and white picture of the owner's wife surrounded by burning candles. Did she pass away? I hope it was before the war and she was lucky not to be part of it. Don't we all hope? Oh wait, no, run to exit. Don't we all hope that? 
you know. It'd be terrible to die in something like this, you know. This is based off a true war, and it's basically showing what happens to the people that's got to live, that couldn't get out of the city after a bomb shelling or something. I think it's some war in Europe or something. Because they... Here they call it fo like a football star, and he's which is Pavel, but they're actually talking about soccer. You know, loading, loading, loading. We got raided, and Bruno's probably dead. Right? Am I right? No, he's he's feeling much better. Good. Yeah, we got back a lot of stuff. Look at that. Oh, yep, he's impressed. I wish I could help Pavel. He looks so hungry. Oh, um, well, he's probably starving. Well, we'll get him so he can eat. I did it for all of us. I did whatever's necessary to get us through this hell. Oh, see? Look, he's already starting to feel a little bit okay with killing people. So we, That's actually kind of worrying. We'll, we'll have him eat some and drink some beer. He's only slightly wounded. Or not, no, he, he's not slightly wounded, he's just wounded. Oh, he's very hungry. Well, go eat these. Here, you can eat those. I'll let you eat both of those. And I don't know what to think. He's drunk. Oh, I, I, you know, I always find it funny. Look how he walks. He's like, I'm a drunk man. There you go. You're not, you're not hungry anymore. All this shelling, sniper fire, and a lack of supplies makes you want to hide away, sit down, and cry. But we cannot let them crush our spirit. We have to show them that they can't take away from our dignity. It's difficult here, but you, but we did our own street. We did it on our own street. Marco did what he thought was necessary to secure his survival, no matter the horrible, how horrible it was. He's sad, but everybody's, you know. Oh, he's depressed. What the heck is going on with him? Does he not need bandages? I thought we brought back bandages. Uh, yeah, because usually you can bandage people up. No, I guess he's good, but I guess nobody wants to demand him. I don't know. Um, so Marco, he's drunk. He's also tired, so he's going to go to bed. And then he's going to get talked to by Pavel. Oh, somebody's at the door. Who is it? Is it just the traitor? We don't have medicine for you, kids. I'm sorry. Those kids like to get medicine. We don't got no medicine. Yeah, I'm sorry, kids. I ain't answering the door. I got nobody to. You can't interrupt their talking, and... Well, Marco's drunk, so... Billy and Sally, get out of here. You can knock all you want. You ain't getting in my house. Get out of here. I should really go check my upstairs for supplies. They could have some weapon parts up there. Get out of here. See, they're working it out. He's not gonna get depressed. Yeah, if you get like too depressed in this game, like they'll they'll kill themselves. So you really gotta watch out for that. For you, those of you who wanna download this game, because yeah, I saw I didn't I haven't had the experience myself, but I saw it in a magazine where it says you gotta keep your their sanity up because they will kill themselves. I'm like, whoa, you don't want that to happen. Those kids gonna go away? We're not home. No soliciting. Yep, he's good. Okay. Go upstairs. 
my god, just answer the door. Yo, get out of here. I can't help you. Another death. We only killed two people. Once. So it's not like it's another death. Screw this. Oh, what? what's going on? Why is he suddenly... Oh. Because he couldn't help those people. Now he's just suddenly depressed. Get over it. We had meds. We just didn't have the right meds. He's still drunk. Those children are asking if I was, we're out of luck. Our cabinet was empty. Well, yeah, of course our cabinet was empty. Like, I guess regular. I mean, we had those weird herbal, herbal drugs. We could have given them, but nope, they didn't want herbal drugs. They wanted pills. Their mother wasn't sick. They're druggies. I like the art style out of this game. I hope the recording doesn't look too bad for you guys. Come on, just finish it up. Come on, go. Why are you gonna be sort of just a poop head? We're just gonna have everybody stay home and guard. You're gonna sleep in the bed. You're gonna guard because we can't have a drunk guy guard, and that'd be bad. Did did we did we get raided? No, we're good. No, no, the night wasn't good. Oh, what happened? So, okay, he's not depressed anymore, but he so up here didn't do anything. God darn it! Oh, well, somebody go talk to him. And now that everybody's just slightly wounded, nobody's completely just like full blown gonna die because they don't got any. Well, I'm so I almost forgot to put my food away. Marco, you can't give up. No, you can't, man. Don't be depressed. Come on, you got this. Why is he tired? Oh, did I? Darn it, a crowbar broke. I'm gonna go to the tool shed and make a new one. Or, or a tool cabinet. But I'm here for you if you need me. You're having an intimate moment. Thank you. You're a good friend. See, I don't know why these guys always get, you know, together. When it's like a female and a guy trying to get along together because, you know, they're depressed. They always seem like they turn on each other. And they get all mad at each other. Like, calm down, Jesus. You gotta make another crowbar. 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 We have no. Wait, hold on. We have a crowbar. Oh, so but he's using it. So we. Please tell me I didn't glitch the game. Well, now we have two. Go finish his job. Okay, are you going? No. no! Well, now we'll never know what is in there. Maybe Pavel's gotta finish it? Darn it! Screw this! Ah! Bah, humbug! That sucks. You know? I really wanted to know what was in there. Well, you're gonna go see if we can upgrade the art table so we can make a gun.
Give me no more fuel. I need two more fuel. Bevel. Mark, how are you doing? You, you're, you're hungover. That's okay, though. Really? Ah! Well, we'll go out and get supplies today. Well, hold on. No, oh, yeah, we're gonna put all this stuff away. Not the water. We need the water right now. So we have four gun parts. That's good. That is good. Yeah, but I have two crowbars. We'll put the fixed one away. And then we'll have Marco cook up some. Or not Bruno cook us up some food. Uh, we'll, I'll probably finish this day, and then I will finish the night, obviously, too. And then I'll end that up this episode here. But before I do that, before I, the day is ended, Pavel, you gotta go up here and clear this. We got it, because we gotta make up for this thing just being a piece of poop to me. We don't need it now. We're actually gonna wait till tomorrow to eat it because it's just gonna sit there and go bad because I just realized you guys are only one day hungry. I don't wait. Now these these two are two days hungry, so yeah, you guys are gonna eat you and because you guys didn't eat yesterday. Only Pavel did. He ate the two cans of food. Now, so you two can eat. But Pavel, Pavel is going to have to stay hungry. Yeah, like I said, there ain't nothing good in here. I'm going to grab all. I don't want to have all, anything up here because then I'll just get freaking sort of whack. I was about to ask why Pavel was tired, but then I realized he guarded all night last night. I don't know why he's tired. He didn't guard. He slept in a bed. Maybe it was Marco that slept in the bed. They're all tired. They must have not gotten any sleep last night. Oh, that's probably why it said it was a bad night. Something must have happened. Well, there you go. Something happened to those guys in the middle of the night. I wish I really would. I'll go back in the recording and see what it was, but you guys will know because you guys will be able to pause it and you'll probably read it. Not a good day. Well, I didn't. I wouldn't think it was. If it's not a good night, usually the day is going to be pretty bad too, especially when the raiders take all your stuff. So let's we'll put that away, that away, and then. Will this end the day? Ooh, hopefully I get the, a new place. No new places? Ooh, let's go here. No, what's... Should I go back here? Yes. You, yes, I should. I should go back here. I don't know. I don't know if I should. Okay, whatever, whatever you say, I'll go back. I don't need. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the knife just in case we get raided. That's the only thing we have, and they'll take it. And I guess they could use it as a weapon. Oops. Well, that's okay. We're we're just all slightly wounded. You know, we need to get some health stuff or something because we can't just all go around oh yeah we're gonna kill people but we're slightly wounded every time we get into a fight he's still hung over look at him he's out of breath look at him this is gonna be where like a bunch of weapons are because it says there's still a huge amount of weapons here no but I'll take all the supply because I know I need it to upgrade my thing so I can make my gun. Where are you going? What was still in here? 
you know why it probably says there's a huge amount of weapons because these three bullets right here I'll actually take those because I want to make my pistol I can't remember I know there's a guitar in there um we'll take some wood I know we're running low on wood I guess I didn't have a stockpile of wood like I thought I did but no I last my, my last game I had over a hundred pieces of um the this this stuff the components should I grab the guitar yeah we'll put these two back grab the guitar but it says there's a huge amount of weapons so let's try to find the weapons but because I don't think it's just gonna be three bullets and it's can I get out here Hold on, guys. We're going to try to figure this out. See where we can go in this house. Did we ever loot this? I think I kind of might have skipped that. Let's see. No. Ooh, but I, I think I have five of these. No gears. Did we loot this? I'm just going to go check everything once again. Ah, see, this is what we need. I don't know, don't yell at me, I'm taking, I don't need as much wood as I do as the materials, so. I mean, I it, I want more for my stuff, but because when it gets cold, it gets cold really bad. Like, like, it's not even funny, man, people die, like, of hypothermia pretty easy in this game. I think we're good, let's run to the exit. <sighs> of course he's hungover. Is he had pure alcohol. Yeah. I could never drink pure alcohol. That sounds disgusting. That sounds disgusting. Because it'd be like really strong, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know. You, those of you guys can drink. Tell me, would it be really strong? Have you guys had pure alcohol? Both of you? Which is probably like none of you. I mean, I don't know how you live. So if you're my age and you've had pure alcohol, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, man. You just do you, okay? He's gonna be mad. He's like, why do we have to steal from these people? Ah, see, I told you we've been made. Pavel has a deep wound. Ah! I should have left him with the knife! Oh, God, I feel bad now. Come on, man. Pavel, no! I mean, he's not like like wounded like he was. We got to get up some band goat. Got the goat some bandages. We had to get some bandages. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And he is very tired because I forgot that he needed sleep. But um, just like, comment, subscribe. Uh, put down in the comments if you want to. Uh, if you want me to, or what you want me to do with these guys, if you want me to continue being like a bandit, or if you want me to, I don't know, be boring and be nice to people, I don't know. It's up to you. I, I only, I'll do what you guys like, but if you guys don't learn anything, I'm gonna still keep with killing people. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!